Hey, what's up? Hi, it's V, and welcome to the Reactionist channel. It's the fifth month of the year, and may the odds be always in our favor, you guys. And to those who are made babies, advanced, and belated, happy birthday to all of you. Let's celebrate. Give me some food. <laughs> As usual, we have four episodes since this is the start of a new month. And the first one is the quiet game. <laughs> is this the usual quiet game? Like in the car or a different one? It was nice and quiet in here. Not <laughs> when we are around, we're gonna celebrate always. <laughs> oh, it's a big bomb. <laughs> we're too noisy. We're just playing. Well, can't you play a quiet game? Let's watch. Oh, I know the best game ever. Oh yeah, the classic best game ever. Without making a single noise. Oh, okay. You ready? Yeah. You think you're gonna be taking advantage of this kids? No. <laughs> okay, so we're doing just science today. Then you're a genius. You're not a genius, actually. <laughs> I need you to go and buy a birthday present for Muffin. <gasps> it's Muffin's birthday! But don't get one she's already got, okay? Or she'll go bananas. Well, how do I know which one she's already got? The kids know. <laughs> the kids know. But they're not gonna tell you because you want the quiet game. See how this turned bad for you? <laughs> Alright, sorry. I should be quiet. Oh, look at this place. I love it. Not much cars. Oh, I know that, that person. That's Joe, I believe. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, I just saw the money with the sticker again. I'm pausing. <gasps> See, I told you that is Joe, right? And then that's the sticker. It's still with him, but he's finally using it to buy some ice cream. <laughs> Oh, hi Alfie. We believe in you. As helpful as you can. Okay, Mom. Yes, as long as you're being helpful, you're gonna do great. Uh, what's this thing called again? Ooh, I love going in there. I would love to have some new toys, actually. Okay, boop. I pause the game so you can tell me what toy Muffin wants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not how the game works. Sorry, Dad. Oh, give me a clue. Come on. <laughs> Charades. Hey mate, you got a toy called a moon sprinkler? <laughs> I can check out the back. A moon sprinkler, really? I think it's supposed to be around, not a moon. Moonlight? Oh, okay. Horses don't have horns. Unicorn! Moonlight unicorn! Boom! <laughs> oh, that's a correct one? So I guess I was guessing wrong. <laughs> Whoa. There's thousands of them. And they're all different. Apple <laughs> Do you know which one Muffin? And knowing Muffin, she's gonna be mad if he chose the wrong one. Ah, look, kids, you win the quiet game, okay? Hooray! Gold medal, gold medal. <laughs> I want some gold medals too. I made it up because you kids were too noisy. Oh, busted. <laughs> that means you can talk now? Oh, forget this. Bramble hop. He'll do. Uh oh. I'm sure Muffin already has that. It can happen. Huh? Okay, you're muffin. <laughs> A reenactment. I love this. <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Can I help you? Thank you. That was very helpful. <laughs> I'll guess it. Uh, writing. writing. Flying. No, not book chicken. What is that? Is it chicken hands? Erasing. A writing. Sorry, sir. We don't have any moon sprinklers. I'm not actually sure they exist. <laughs> These kids know which one. I need you to figure it out. I think Alfie's gonna be helpful and he's actually good at trades. All right, action. You're definitely writing something. Mm hmm It's what you're writing with. Oh, it's a pen. Correct. Wow, you have an audience now. <laughs> See, I thought it was a chicken. Shh. Come on, Alfie. You have to be helpful. I don't know. I'm just gonna help guess, although it's always wrong. <laughs> Breathing. A dragon. <gasps> A pen dragon. Ooh. <laughs> See, you are helpful, Alfie. You're the best. Well, he's a legend. Yeah! Aww, that's a nice start of the work. Oh, 
<laughs> They're singing again. I love their singing voice. <laughs> wow, it's loud in here. We like it. Loud and fun. Maybe just a little quieter for your poor dad. Yeah, I'm fine. It's music to my ears. Oh, he missed his kids being so loud. Oh, the bomb is back. That is a very big bomb. <laughs> and the first episode is done. It's the quiet game. Dad learned his lesson for sure. Because <laughs> he thought he's gonna be slick, but he is not. <laughs> the plan that he made was not in his favor anymore because he needed the suggestions of the kids and they're not talking. The amount of unicorn <laughs> in that shop was amazing and it has a different category. I'm sure whoever collects those kinds of toys are shook and excited at the same time because you gotta collect a lot but that sure costs a lot of money thank you alfie as well for being so helpful you were great at guessing i knew it and you didn't ruin your first day like at all so i'm very proud just like your mom we also saw again i think joe that was supposed to be joe the singer the busker dog and he was using the same money with a sticker it's finally passed around from him so long sticker are we still gonna see you again we'll see for this one it's more of having fun and missing something that was gone that's what i got from it not much takeaway but the visuals looking good that was a good start for this whole video i loved the first episode so now let's go to mr monkey jocks a new character it's been a while since we've seen an imaginary character so I'm excited about this one. <laughs> I want that one. And that one. <gasps> toys again. Can you not leave all your stuff? Wow. Look at all those toys. How can you be bored when you got this many toys? Well, when you have so many toys, you tend to get bored if you've already played with all of them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're having a chuck out. Chuck out. One basket for keeping. Oh, that's a lot. That's a new word again that I heard, chucking. It's all going to needy kids. But we're needy kids. <laughs> I am a needy young adult. <laughs> You're spoiled kids. No, we're not. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Focus, healer. Bowie doesn't know what spoiled mean yet. No, Snowy's special. Keep, keep. Everyone's gonna be special. <laughs> they put one and then move it again. Basket is... Everything. <laughs> and in the check basket is... A monkey wearing. Oh. Mr. Monkey Jock. Out of all, Monkey Jock was gonna be chucked. He's special. Well, you better show me he's special if you want to keep him. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this show. I regret that. Yeah, I can already tell. <laughs> monkey Jock's taken over the whole house. That monkey's in my chair. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Sorry. Floor boy. Floor boy. Floor boy. <laughs> that was low. He's <laughs> a, A, A. I love this soundtrack. I'm gonna remember this. I love this. <laughs> Mr. Monkey just know how to drive. Right, sunnies. <laughs> okay, kids, this has gone a bit far. You said we have to treat him special. True. They're just showing you how special Mr. Monkey Jocks is. <laughs> huh? How's my little monkey? Oh. <laughs> He's stealing your wife, too. What? Oh no, poor dad. You've been replaced. For a monkey? There's just something special about him. Oh, something you can't get. <laughs> yes, good idea. You can be his monkey butler. Oh, actually, he's become a butler. <laughs> Dad's gonna have his revenge. You're probably gonna regret that. <laughs> Mom is the assigned person to say that. That's not his bed. Not anymore. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you are corridor kids now. Hey, he said he wanted him. Just because he says he wants it. Well, he's special. <laughs> somewhere else to live. Yeah, tell him, Bluey. Oh. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Turns out it was the two of you. My sweet monkey man. Oh. I bought you. Mom too. <laughs> no one's being unfair here, okay? Just Y'all just have to leave outside. <laughs> well, we 
spoiled him. Oh, it's about being spoiled. Now I get it. <laughs> We're allowed to sleep in the backyard, shall we? <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. He's taken over the house. This is abuse. You have too much power now. Anyone who can be special. Bluey, that's spoiled. There you go, sir. All the toys have been chucked. How does it feel, Mr. Monkey Jocks? <laughs> he likes this. How can he be bored? He has everything he wants. He says he doesn't want everything he wants anymore. Aww, he's realized something. When you have everything you want, <laughs> nothing feels special anymore. Aww, true. That actually makes sense. Making someone else feel special? Aww, is he gonna be chucked? It's time to say goodbye to some of the toys. They're gonna make someone very special. I hope you make someone feel special. I'm sure he will. This is so touching. Oh, they have a special place for that. Oh my gosh, we're gonna see. Wearing jocks. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Monkey Jocks. Oh, that was thoughtful. I love that episode. You're a great toy. You've been a great toy for Bluey and Bingo, and now you're being a great toy for another kid. The topic is about being spoiled. I am actually worried for a lot of kids nowadays because they tend to be spoiled by lots of parents now. Some of the parents do that because they want their kids to have what they did not have when they were younger and that tends to backfire because they don't want to say no to their kids because they feel like they're not giving enough. Some are spoiled because they're always given what they want because parents are too busy to like argue or something or they don't get much attention from their parents that they need so the parents instead give them material things to compensate for the missing time and many many more that's not a good thing spoiled kids tend to be up uh, problematic when they get older of course it's gonna take a lot of sessions to you know make them realize about that and remove unwanted behaviors so as much as possible i hope parents are doing their best to cater for the child's need but also still giving boundaries so that they know that there are limits and not everything they want is gonna be given because look at what happened to mr monkey jocks he became bored because he got everything that he needed and too much power is bad <laughs> i very so much love the realization in the end on how being spoiled is not a good thing i'm glad that blue and bigo are starting to learn more about this word and what could happen if you become spoiled so they've learned and this touching moment in the end where they realize that yeah there we have a lot of toys and i think it's time for some other kids to feel special with the use of a special toy mr monkey just was given to a kid in a hospital i'm sure they super love that gesture i love the takeaway the visual is very colorful of course because of the lots of toys that we saw and of course the soundtrack i super love this well this is gonna get a high rank later all right oh we are now in the third episode of the day this is double babysitter Ooh, who are these people that's gonna take care of the kids for a while let's see wow look at the color of fur uncle rad <laughs> he seems rad that name fits him so well, actually. <laughs> he got it wrong. Because he's blue. I'm a girl. <laughs> you don't know that. Hooray! Not hooray. Oh. For about babysitter put downs, Uncle Rad. Don't worry, Bluey. Who better to do a babysitter put down than your Uncle Rad? Hello. <laughs> you don't even know who's Bluey and Bingo. Hi. Wait, they don't know each other? There's some sparkle. Risky, have you met Bandit's brother Radley before? So there's a third brother. Bluey. Sorry, Frisky. Uncle Rad got in touch last minute and said he'd babysit. You mustn't have got my message. Oh. No, I didn't get it. That's fine. Um, I'll just go. No, not go. Both babysit. Uh, <laughs> well, this is a good thing for the two of them as well. Hooray! Double babysitter. Ooh, it's Rad stalking. Bye. You're gonna change your mind, Bluey. I can feel that. I have one before, but I didn't like it. Well, you 
your fairy godmother is and it? I will make this exactly the same as a mum and dad put down. I don't know you as well as mum and dad. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> Why don't we play 20 questions? Mmm, I like that game. 20 questions? Right, I don't know as well too. I just want to play a game. Why don't you have a wife? Oh. You have a wife? That's the second. A wife? <laughs> That's the third question. How many friends have you got? Three? That's not many. Well, when you get older, you'll understand why. Because <laughs> I work on an oil rig. Oil rig. See, that's a very amazing and dangerous job, I believe. I'm a milk, milk shampoo. shampoo. Oh, same shampoo. <laughs> um, no, Bosco and I aren't friends anymore. <gasps> Who's Bosco? <laughs> An ex? But true love is forever. Well, you're gonna know about that when you're adult as well. I mean, I thought it was. Oh, he's turned sad. Chicken rat. Chicken what? Chicken rat. I know that. Torch mouse. <laughs> but this time they're mouse. Oh, I think the light is the mouse, and they're the cats. <laughs> yeah, they're meowing. <laughs> oh, that was kind of close. But I don't want to do anything else that's different. What about this? <laughs> this is weird. And fun. <laughs> well, you know it. You get used to it. You just drop your toothbrush. That's our day. Then the prince knocked the dragon out with a big prince punch. Boom! Oh, that was great. Now we shall marry. And the princess replied, no thanks. Oh. <laughs> he didn't like the look of him. I like this upper side of the room. Hey, I didn't ask to be rescued. Exactly. That's too usual story now. Ugh, princes are all the same. <laughs> There's good princes and bad princes. Are you the good one, though? He's good. Off in search of another princess. Oh, <laughs> she grabs a nice book and lives happily ever after. Ah, uh, she loves being alone. In mom and dad's stories, they get married in the end. Oh, princess, okay, fine. that's kind of required. <laughs> they get married. The end. Hooray! Oh my gosh, I'm rooting for their relationship now. They look so cute. You won't watch TV after I fall asleep, will you? We don't have to. You promise? Is your last babysitter put down with Nana? Yes. And let me guess, you woke up and the TV was too late. Oh, I thought she was watching something scary. She was watching something scary. Oh, I was right. <laughs> Look, you just had a bad... Well, this time it's going to be different. How can I know for sure it won't happen again? You can't. Yeah. You have to go anyway. Just have to trust them. I'll give it a go. Aww. They're just going to be there the whole time. She woke up. Don't rate the condition. <laughs> I love that the conversation is about shampoo. Now that one was a very sweet episode. I am glad that we met Risky and Uncle Rad today. I also love that they have a very similar kind of color when it comes to furs. The other half of his body is blue, like light blue. I love the color that makes him more rad. <laughs> that name really fits him well. I'm sure it's not just with kids that when something unusual happens in a very routine kind of thing, which is sleeping, and then put down that could be very scary but just like what frisky said we just have to give it a try and do it scared that's something i saw in ig if you're scared of doing something do it still but scared <laughs> and that applies so much in this episode because there will come a time when something unusual is gonna happen and it's gonna be scary because this is something we haven't experienced before and we don't know how it's gonna turn out for the better or for worse and i'm glad that they actually did what they promised to bluey that they're not gonna watch tv or something scary because of the previous experience she had which is actually a good thing because that way frisky and rad can talk dad and mom instantly became a matchmaker for that one that something unusual is very applicable to adults as well when it comes to new relationships when a new job is offered to you so many things and all of that can be literally scary but i say still give it a try and if it turns for worse we can add that to experience 
ones and go ahead and move on to another one there will come a time when you remember this thing that happened to you and you can just laugh about it and that's something that i'm looking forward to as well i love the sweetness of the episode because of the chemistry of uncle rad and frisky and i hope we see them again in future episodes and see what their relationship turned out to be and the fourth episode of the day is here bad mood unfortunately <laughs> this is the last one today but i do hope that even if it's a bad kind of title we're still gonna enjoy and have fun with this one we'll see cookies oh they call it biscuit <laughs> oh i see now no, I said you're being cheeky. There's a difference. No, there isn't. Oh, she got into a bad mood. Bad mood. <gasps> I love that carpet, though. <laughs> a watermelon carpet. Oh, no, not bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> he already knows. Bad mood. Oh, bad mood is a game. Oh, hi, Bingo. <laughs> oh, those were just cleaned. Bingo's in a bad mood. Yeah, what tricks are we gonna do? <laughs> Bad mood is big and very spoiled. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate. You're treat food. It's not treat time. <laughs> it's bad mad. Come on, Bluey, fix. There's gotta be something. Oh, I know. Relax the chair. All right. Maybe that'll help. How about we close our eyes and take some relaxing belly breath? Okay, I'ma join. Oh. <laughs> it is kind of for me, but not for her. <laughs> oh no, he's done. <laughs> we gotta move on. Ooh, drawing is very therapeutic as well. Oh, she pooped. Glad Disney did not censor that as well. <laughs> they seem to hate poops. Hey, it's dancing time. Yeah, therapeutic as well. Yeah. <laughs> this thing that she's giving Bingo, good things. <laughs> it's time to get away from the bad mood. We gotta hide. Oh, she was caught. Oh, I thought she was caught. <laughs> she willfully went to the bad mood again. What? Why did you get back in? She still wants to be in that mood. <laughs> Maybe another mood needs to fight her. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Oh, wow. This is the best house. I hope it lasts forever. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh, the bad mood is going to try to ruin it. <laughs> this is a nice plan. We'll see how this is going to turn out. <laughs> he got tired. <laughs> I want to set my bad mood. But why? Give it here. Oh. She's in a good mood now. I thought it was gonna be Bluey. Well, this is a nice one too. Oh, <laughs> how does everyone? Oh, you just need a cuddle too. He was just behaving bad. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice detail in the end. The hat falling from his head. My usual advice for this is everyone should have time to experience and feel the emotion no matter how bad it is. If you're feeling angry, go ahead and shout, be mad about things, say the things that you're angry about. If you want to cry, go ahead and cry. Be in your bed and sulk. If you're happy, then feel happy. Sing, hug someone. You have to literally acknowledge that what you're feeling right now is what you're feeling and express why you gotta understand why you're feeling that way and it's very helpful when it's a negative emotion reflect on it and that will make you avoid doing behaviors that could be harmful to you or to others that was shown well here bingo was having a bad mood and dad and mom instead of like shushing that away or saying that you gotta stop having a bad mood because that's not cute they let her feel it and have her time being in a bad mood i also like the scene when Bowie thought that it's already okay and 
Bingo's already in a good mood, but turns out she's not yet. Nope. I'm still not feeling okay. So I'm still gonna be in a bad mood. And she returned. And when she had enough being in a bad mood, that's when she accepted that she's in a good mood now. And she just embraced, hugged everyone, even her bad mood. That psychology in this episode, I am loving so much. Tiny details like the hat falling is something that says a lot and you can appreciate as an end to a great episode. So I loved every aspect of this so i'm pretty sure this is gonna get a high rank as well speaking about ranking let's go ahead and rank some episodes before we rank the four episodes i just want to say that i think i've had a mistake ranking barky boats i was so in love with the visuals of this one that i think it's not fair to put it in it was good so i'm gonna move this in the font watch so that's settled let's now go to the first episode we watched the quiet game alfie the kids the shop with the beautiful unicorns i love the visuals of this one the lesson i like as well all in all the episode had a positive mood so I think the quiet game is it was good. Am I gonna regret that and change it again? We'll see. I mean, I can still change it once I see that it's not supposed to be there when I'm already editing. Next episode is Mr. Monkey Jocks. I loved the visuals, the soundtrack, and the takeaway of this one. So I think I'm gonna place Mr. Monkey Jocks in the masterpiece tier. Being spoiled is not a good thing. So I love that they talked about that, especially when it comes to kids. I I super adore the last part of this episode where a new kid is gonna be entertained by this special toy because he's a special kid as well so <laughs> Yes, that's gonna stay there. Next is Double Babysitter. This especially has some good chemistry between Frisky and Uncle Rad. The storyline, all in all, is a great one for me. The takeaway is there. Soundtrack for this one is fine as well. So I think I would place Double Babysitter in the best tier because I'm looking forward to see the relationship of Frisky and Uncle Rad later. And the last episode of the day is a bad mood as a side gig i love the takeaway for this one the soundtrack is fine and the visuals is good but because i especially love the takeaway of this one and i think it's gonna be helpful for parents you guys who are watching this and the kids especially i'm gonna place it in the, the best tier as well wow we had three episodes that are in the high rankings and so that is how the rankings is gonna be for those four episodes Episodes. let me know if you agree with that ranking and tell me more about the takeaways that you've had with this four episodes also i still have the link for the next show that we're gonna watch after the owl house it's in my channel so if you haven't voted yet go ahead and do that now and that is all for now thank you once again for watching with me if you love the reaction please go ahead and like and subscribe and i'll see you next monday for a new set of blue episodes bye